Chemistry News with Harry Smallman. Today's top story, the effect of volcanic gases. First up, we're going live to Italy to find out more. Hi, we're live from Mount Etna in Sicily. The most abundant gas released from a volcanic eruption is water vapour, which takes up 70 to 90% of the total mass. This is followed by carbon dioxide and sulphur dioxide. Other gases released in small trace amounts are hydrogen sulphide, carbon monoxide, hydrogen chloride and hydrogen fluoride. Sulphur dioxide, carbon dioxide and hydrogen fluoride are the gases that pose most threat to life. Carbon dioxide is heavier in air so it tends to flow into low-lying areas and collect in the soil. The concentration of carbon dioxide in these areas can be lethal to animals, people and vegetation. Sulphur dioxide gas released into the atmosphere can cause air pollution and acid rain. This promotes depletion of the Earth's ozone layer and can lead to atmospheric cooling. First, the sulphur dioxide reacts with oxygen to form sulphur trioxide and then with water to form sulfuric acid, with the equation below. Back to you in the studio! Thanks Harry! Next we're going into the lab to find out more about the effects of sulphur dioxide and carbon dioxide. Sulphur dioxide is a colourless gas with a pungent odour that irritates the skin as well as the mucous membranes of the eyes, nose and throat, mainly affecting the upper respiratory tract and bronchi. The World Health Organisation recommends a concentration of no greater than 0.5 parts per million over 24 hours for maximum exposure. Immediate irritation of the nose and throat start at 6 to 12 ppm. 20 ppm causes eye irritation and over 10,000 ppm will irritate moist skin within minutes. An active volcano can release between 20 and 10 million tonnes of sulphur dioxide per day, depending on the type of volcano and how much magma is released. 17 million tonnes of sulphur dioxide were released into the Earth's stratosphere after an eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. The sulphur aerosols resulted in 0.5 to 0.6 degrees C cooling of the Earth's surface in the Northern Hemisphere. The sulphur aerosols accelerated chemical reactions that together with increased CFC levels destroyed ozone and led to some of the lowest ozone levels ever observed in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide is an odourless, colourless gas which does not pose a direct hazard to life. Volcanoes release more than 130 million tonnes of CO2 into the atmosphere each year, which is comparable to the amount released by humans and animals during respiration. However, in certain circumstances, CO2 can become concentrated at levels lethal to humans and animals. Air with 5% CO2 can cause increased respiration. 6-10% to causes shortness of breath, headaches, dizziness, sweating and general restlessness. 10-15% to can cause abrupt muscle contractions and impaired coordination. 20-30% to can cause loss of consciousness and convulsions and over 30% can cause death. Thanks for listening. Back to you in the studio. Wow, those sure are some interesting facts. Tune in next time on Chemistry News with Harry Smallman.